Hey everyone, it's John here. I do have the purple machine, the purple Prusa. It's a Riprap Pro Mendel, and today I'm going to be working on the board. Uh, I actually had to disassemble it because it was not, I didn't install the thermistor right uh, at all because I broke it. I'm really bad at soldering. So I have the thermistor here that I've redone. I had to order one on my own because I broke the one that came with the kit. Basically, it's just a bulb, and then it's got it's it's uh, soldered into some stereo wire and some heat shrink there to hold it all together. So what I'm gonna do today? It's gonna be really rough. All right. What do today. Don't mind that sound. I'm just 3D printing in the background. What ha needs to happen is that this needs to be inserted like that. Let me zoom in. Okay, so there we go. Now, I just need to insert this like that and bend this down a little bit and then pull it through. Well, the zip ties aren't here yet, but they will be in a second. Put some zip tie right there. So let me move all this stuff out of the way. Pull this up tight through. I have actually taken off all the uh, the heated bed and the the uh, aluminum heat sink by accident, thinking that I would need to get in there, but I do not to need to do that to actually put this on. This is really simple. One of my major problems with building things is that I get caught up on electronics. I don't know how to do them really well, so I get really freaked out. Okay, it's all lined up. Now all I need to do is pop this in there. It doesn't want to bend. I don't want to break anything. So I'm going to very gently bend that over. Insert that into where the heated bed is. Give it some some space to move around and just put some tape over it right there. This is capped on tape, it's heat resistant tape. It doesn't melt. Use it on 3D printed beds. Oh, of course I skipped a step. Uh, I believe the instructions say take some cotton and put it in there. I guess as some type of insulation. I want to move around and crush that. It's a glass bulb, so you don't want to break that or anything. Put some more tape down here. Come on, camera. Here we go. Right down there. Okay, so I've already pulled this through. I can just put that on there. And zip tie that. Now the reason we want to zip tie this nice and snug is because as the bed moves around you don't want the wires to have any play in them so that they don't get worn over time. Alright so there it is. The thermistor and the heat bed is already attached. I'll flip this over. Uh, I don't have the screws that I took out earlier to put in right now. but. Yep, just put the screws in the top of the bed and then put the bed back onto the carriage, which is right over there. Come on, camera. Let me zoom out. Okay, well, this bed right here. It'll go all inside these purple posts. This three point bed. Okay. I'll try to make more videos as, uh, as often as I can. Thank you.